Hello guys, um, my name is Rodri. This is my Excel spreadsheet program for BIM analysis. In this video, I will show you how to use this spreadsheet to analyze our BIM. This spreadsheet is able to analyze a BIM of up to 5 spans. Each span carrying 1 point load. Sorry, 2 point load, 1 distributed load and 1 point moment. In this video, I will use this example from Aslam Kasimali to show you how to use this program and get our result. Let's get started. Let's input the data into the spreadsheet starting from span number 1. What span number 1? The length is 8 meter. The section, we are going to use the same section for the beam which is 250 by 450 as shown here and then um, as you can see here EI is constant which means the, the section of the beam is constant throughout and the materials and the same materials so the section is 250 by 450 span number 2 the length is also 8 meter the section 450 by 250 by 450 and we are going to assume uh, E as 200 gigapascal converted to kilonewton per meter square will give us 200 million kilonewton per meter square let's input the load for each pen, uh, span number one is loaded with uh, a 20 kN per meter distributed load, and then this is a distributed load column. We are going to use this um, uh, coordinate system, which means uh, this load is downward, so it's going to be minus, minus 20. The A value here is zero. A value is here as you can see from this uh, image is A is the um, distance from the left support to the beginning of the distributed load and in this case is zero there's no distance between the <coughs> there's no distance there's no gap between these two uh, the left support and the beginning of the um, distributed load so it'll be zero and the load value as I said is minus 20 since this uh, load is downwards and then the B value is uh, this value is here is from is the distance from the left support to the end of the distributed load. And in this case, is uh, the length of the beam since um, this distributed load is along throughout the beam, so it's gonna be a uh, eight meter. And then span number three, span number two got uh, no load. And span number three has a, a point load of uh, 60 kilonewton, and the A value here is uh, this is the A value is four meter, four meter, and, uh, and uh, this loads also downwards will be minus 60, and the B value also four since uh, this load is applied at the middle of the beam of this span. So it will be 4. Um, span number 4 also uh, got no loading. So we're done with uh, the loading input. Let's finalize with uh, go on the uh, support condition. Support number 1. The type of support is fixed. This support is fixed. Support number 2. Support number 2 is a roller. Spot number three. Spot number three is also a ruler. Spot number four is also a ruler. Spot number five is fixed. Spot number five is also fixed as the first one. So we're done of our input, so we can analyze and get our result by pressing this button analyze.
is analyzing and there everything is done yes our result summary number of element is four which is number of spend is four number of node or number of support is five and here is a node coordinate is actually a um, node coordinate on the on this axis here along the beam if we are only interested on this axis along the beam and then uh, support number one is at zero support number two is at eight meter from support number one from zero we we're taking a uh, support number one as a uh, with coordinate zero zero and so on to the end of the beam and element property is the e uh, value this is i this i is calculated the, uh, from this beam section here 450 by 440 250 by 440 and uh, l is the length of the span know that displacement the displacement along the y axis is zero because it's uh, restrained with the support as you can see here yeah, is a restraint and then uh, <coughs> support number one there's no rotation around the z z uh, axis there's no rotation since uh, this node is fixed so there's no rotation there's no around there's no rotation around the s um, the z axis and there's no uh, translation along the y axis and then uh, support number two there's no uh, Transition on the y axis, but there is a rotation around the z axis. And spot number two will treat the same. Spot number four, the, the displacement allowed uh, permissible in the, at this spot. Um, member enforces in global coordinates uh, that uh, this uh, species is based on the stiffness, stiffness matrix method. So they are load on each element, and each element got uh, four reactions, two on each side. Let me just show from this image here. Let's copy this image and paste it in so that we can. Uh, this is what I mean. It's element number one. Each element got uh, one reaction on the beginning of the element and one moment and then one uh, reaction at the end and one moment also at the end. So in this case here we got on the start node we got 92. The, the F, F1 is a 92, 72 kilonewton. M1 is uh, 140. Uh, 140.6 kilonewton per meter and then um, F2 in this case is 67.28 kilonewton and M2 is minus 38.81 kilonewton per meter and uh, is the same apply on element 2, 3 and 4 and these are the reactions Reaction at no at uh, support number one is 92.72 and then M um, the moment at support number one is 140.6 kilonewton per meter. Reaction at um, support number two is 69.11 kilonewton. Reaction at, uh, at support number three is 25.6 3 kilonewton. Reaction at uh, support number 4 is 40.89 kilonewton. Reaction at support number 5 is minus 8.35 kilonewton. You should note that all oh, these reactions are on the y axis. There's no reaction on the x axis. And then uh, M number five, M up support number five is 22, 26 kilonewton per meter. This uh, is a summary of our, this is the same reaction we just uh, saw now. And these are the bending moment.
along the beam and these are also the shear forces along the beam from uh, support number one the moment at support number one is minus 140.60 kN per meter at mid span in the middle of the span we got 70 is the positive moment 17.3 kN per meter and at support number two is the negative moment minus uh, 38.81 kN per meter and at mid span is also a negative moment which is minus 31.49 kN per meter we are going to see all this uh, from our bending um, moment diagram and uh, they should be the same the value we got here and spot number 3 we got minus um, 24.17 kN per meter is also a negative moment and at mid span is a positive moment at mid span number 3 is a positive moment of uh, 85.65 kN per meter at spot number 4 we got is a negative moment is a minus 44.452 kN per meter at mid span number 4 mid span number 4 is a negative moment also is a minus 11 11.13 kN per meter at spot number 5 we got 22 22.26 kN per meter and the shear forces um, from left span number 1 span number 1 left left of span number 1 we got 92 72 kN right of span number 1 is a negative minus 67.28 kN left of span number 2 is uh, 1.83 kN and on the right of span number 2 is also 1.83 kN left of span number 3 is 27.46 kN and right of span number 3 is minus 32.54 kN left of span number 4 is 8 1835 kilonewton and right of span number 3 is also a positive shear force of uh, 8.35 kilonewton. Then look at our bending uh, moment diagram. Here's our bending moment diagram, and as I said, they will be the same as our summary here. Yeah. Support number 1 is a negative of. Uh, 140.60 kN per meter. If you scale out here, you will get the same value to add from left from the beginning to the end of our spot as shown here on our summary. Let's look at uh, at our shear force diagram. This is our shear force diagram. Left of span number one. Left of span number one, we got 92.72. This is 92.72. 72 uh, right of span on one you can see is negative it's here negative uh, 67.28 and then uh, left of span number two is here is 1.83 1.83 as you can see here 1.83 and the same on the right of that support the 1.83 and then left of span number 3 27 is a positive 27 and the left is negative is minus 20, 32 and then span number 4 is positive shear force of 8 on the left is 8.35 and on the right is also 8.35 kN newton so we done with uh, our result analysis If you are interested in this spreadsheet, just leave your email address uh, at the sec and the comment section below, and I will gladly share this spreadsheet with you. Thank you for watching.